The traditional switch statements we have in Java is very similar to that which is in C++. In recent Java releases such as JDK 11, 12 and 13, there has been some cool updates to the way we use switch keyword in Java. We are going to work with a sample code which asks the user to input the name of a country and then the program prints out the main language spoken in that country. So for example, if I put Nigeria, it should write English. The issue with switch statements is that if I remove the break statement, it will jump to the next case. In this current example, when I remove the break statement for Nigeria, even though the language is supposed to be English, it printed out French. If I also remove the break statement for Cameroon and I write Nigeria, it will end up printing German because there is no break statement in the case Nigeria and Cameroon. You would expect that we should be able to group cases which results in similar executions. Unfortunately, that was previously not the case. But thank God that is possible now. To enable Java 13, you first need to make sure you have JDK 13 installed. I got mine from Adopt Open JDK. You can find that in the description below. You go to Project Structure and change both the Project SDK and Language Level to JDK 13. I am currently using the latest IntelliJ idea at this moment, which is 2019.2. In order to make your switch statements more concise and easy to read, you can use the new arrow syntax. You do not need to include break statements after each case. With this, you can still have multiple values per case. With this arrow syntax, your code looks simpler and more pleasing to the eyes. So far, we have been dealing with switch statements, which run some code depending on the case. There is a new functionality which is called switch expression. This will return a value based on the cases. The keyword yield is similar to return statement but it is made for the switch expression. A yield terminates the switch expression, so you don't need a break statement after it. So you have switch statements and switch expressions. You don't use yield in switch statements, and you don't use break in switch expressions. Depending on your use case, these are both wonderful tools which you can use as you upgrade to latest Java.